When North Korean leader Kim Jong-un declared a miraculous, shining victory over COVID-19, he was speaking about his country overcoming its first outbreak of the virus, which peaked at nearly 400,000 suspected daily infections in mid-May. But might he also have been referring to himself? Comments from his sister have triggered a widespread interpretation that Kim himself may have been infected. We've got some extra clues from analysts here in Seoul too. First, let's just piece together what we know from yesterday's state media coverage. Speaking at the same meeting of health officials and scientists as her brother this week, Kim Yo-jong stated that he'd been seriously ill with a high fever, but couldn't rest because he had to take care of his people. That's significant in itself to comment on the leader's health status while he sat listening apparently appreciating this passionate speech from his sister. And mentioning a fever is about as clear as it gets in North Korea, which has been counting fever cases rather than confirmed COVID-19 infections during its outbreak. Remember, the North is believed to lack the infrastructure to carry out widespread COVID-19 testing. But has there been any other suggestion in recent weeks that Kim Jong-un's been seriously ill? A South Korean Unification Ministry official told reporters Seoul cannot officially confirm that Kim had a high fever, but analysts here have pointed out his several breaks from the public eye since the official start of the North's outbreak in April. For instance, there was the 10-day absence after Kim got close to the public during a massive military parade at the start of May. After another 10-day disappearance, there was an absence of nearly three weeks in July. For years, Kim's absences have sparked health rumors, but given North Korea's own admission, perhaps there's some weight to the speculation this time. Also consider that in mid-May, we heard the assessment from the National Intelligence Service here in Seoul that Kim Jong-un had not been vaccinated against COVID-19. Kim said it was unprecedented in the history of global health that his country's COVID-19 death toll should be just 74, particularly as the North has rejected offers of vaccine support from South Korea and the US. Rather than accepting this miracle, outside observers have been skeptical. Last month, the World Health Organization's view was that North Korea's outbreak was worsening rather than improving. It's impossible for us to verify whether the North really has had no new infections or suspicious fevers since July 29th, as it claims. But we can perhaps assess that Pyongyang's ready to move on to other policy priorities, including nuclear weapon development. It's interesting that Kim Yo-jong threatened to target South Korea if it helps the virus return to the North, also suggesting that materials flown over via balloons sent from the South by North Korean defector groups had been responsible for spreading COVID-19 across the border. So we could be set to see Pyongyang's shift back from pandemic management to provocations.